Hey, what's up creatures? It's M. And Danny. And today we're going to be doing a Q&A because I asked some of you to send us your... <laughs> I asked you guys to send over your questions for a Q&A, so we decided to answer some of your questions. But first of all, it's Nevla! And Dobby. And Dobby, look at them. They're so cute. Say hi to the creatures. Hello, creatures! Dobby's like, I don't do that. <laughs> They're so cute, I can't. <laughs> Everyone thinks Dobby's a boy because obviously Dobby in Harry Potter was a boy. But actually Dobby's a girl. She's so cute. She's my little house elf here at home. And then um, there's, uh, there's Niffler. a watermelon. <laughs> He's not a watermelon. I'm a very, very good dancer. I love you. Go eat. I just gave you fresh food. And by the way, what on earth is M wearing today? I'm wearing a hedgehog onesie, which is not sponsored, but it was sent to me a couple of months ago by Kigurumi.com. So you can definitely go and check out Kigurumi. Danny has a beautiful onesie as well, but you're not wearing yours today. I'm sorry, you Onesie shame me. I'm not onesie shaming you. So yeah, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. This is why I film alone because I'm a hazard to everybody around me. First question is Morgan Elizabeth and she just says, can this be your first question? Yes. Oh, this is from Jessica Fennan, um, which is on Twitter and says, do you have any advice how to grow an animal-based YouTube channel? I'm sure you get this question a lot due to your success so far on the platform. I'm sorry if it is redundant. It's not redundant. I would say this is really important for anyone who wants to get into like the pet YouTube side of things. Don't overextend yourself. You know, it's actually far better to start with just a couple of animals and just really get super creative on how many videos you can make about one animal. It doesn't matter if you only have a dog or a hamster at home. Look at Doug the Pug. You know, he's a massive success and he is just one dog. It's not like he is one of many dogs. So I think that that is what my greatest advice would be. Like, don't think that you have to just accumulate all these animals because you don't. We happen to have a lot because we've got external businesses aside from YouTube. I just happen to be able to put them on YouTube as well. But even if I was on YouTube, we'd still have all these animals. So that's my greatest advice to you. I'm gonna change my battery really quickly because we've got a flashing red light. Okay, next question. Oh, okay, this is this is quite a heavy one. Bria Elizabeth, straight in. Um, do you and Danny plan on having kids? I know Danny has three and much love to all of you from Puerto Rico. <laughs> love well, all your uh, videos. But por qué me haces esto? <laughs> you really put him on the spot now. No, of course we want kids. I think goats are great, but of course you should have a fenced in yard and you plenty should. of hay available and pellets and things like that. So kids are a great idea, sure. Sometime. And little Nigerian dwarf ones I like this. <laughs> they look really cute. Which are the ones that I saw yesterday which look like there's something out of a, a scary movie? The Cypress... Movie. Uh, was it Cypress Goats? No. I think... Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, they're really... I have to try and find it because I only discovered them yesterday and I had no idea they existed. So I'm going to insert a picture now. This is going to be burned into your nightmares all night long. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I need them. This is from Jasmine Reyes. Can you speak Spanish or any other language? And if you can, please give us an example. Gracias. ¿Quieres hablar en español? Mi vida, yo hablo contigo de cualquier manera que tú quieras. Hablo más. Bueno, dígame que te quiero que te cuente. De todo, de animales bueno, y de Primero que de nada, tacos. debemos hablarle a todos nuestros hispanos americanos y gente por todo el mundo que tenemos una Y en Sudamérica, entre... en Brasil, en Puerto Rico, nos queremos mucho. En Besos España, a ti. donde quiera. En Galicia. Y, en Galicia. Uh -huh. y, y sí, bueno, saludamos a todos los amigos nuestros. Eh, sobre todas partes del mundo, te queremos mucho. Neil bueno. Winchester. ¿Quieres you want to read this one out? Sí, yeah, ok. Um, What's a state in the U.S. that you haven't been but want to visit? P.S. I recommend Georgia if you ever get the chance to. Savannah especially. Ooh. Um, Georgia is pretty. Louisiana. Yeah. I haven't Louisiana? been to Louisiana, Louisiana yet. You know where I want to go? Where? New Orleans. It's in Louisiana. Oh, God. <laughs> Foreigners. Okay. You know what? If I told you to go to Gloucestershire, you wouldn't know where it is, would I would. You? It's in the U.K. And, oh, but not in England? It's in Wales. Oh, it's not! It's oh my goodness. Welsh. Okay, okay, so I want to go to New Orleans in Louisiana. Um, but, uh, oh wait, you say Louisiana. Louisiana. Louisiana, not Louisiana. Go to... <laughs> Louisiana. Louisiana, Louisiana, so Louisiana. <laughs> Let it go, please. I would also then like to go to oh Maine. I've always wanted to go to Maine. Maine's beautiful. I want to go camping in Maine and I want to see a moose. <laughs> That's 
really, really weird to say. I know it sounds so simple, but I love moose. I've got a fascination with moose. What if you saw more than one moose? How many would it be? Two moose. Two You're gonna say mooses, aren't you? You're gonna say niece. <laughs> oh, God. It's mooses. No, just moose. I just I think it's moose, isn't it? Like one I'm moose, two you. moose, three moose. Not oh. like mooses. Like not like mongooses. You know. Mongoose. No, they're mongooses. Mongoose. No, they're actually referred to as mongooses. You can Google it. I am right. Thank you very much. Um, okay, next question. Okay. How do you? <laughs> oh my God! So hostile. This is from Courtney Miles. <laughs> I'm still going you, on about moose. You, you spat all over your face. I snotted as well, wait. Slay queen. Slay queen. <laughs> say that again. No. Can you say, yas queen slay. Yas queen slay. Yas, yas. Yas. Courtney Miles says, do you believe there are certain animals that should only live in the wild? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, as a zookeeper, I can definitely attest that I think some animals um, do best in the wild. Things like primates, elephants. Um, I completely agree there. Uh, I do not believe that orcas can be given what they need in captivity. Elephants, unfortunately, there's not much space for them out in the wild anymore. And I know that they have to be in captivity, but that's another animal. If they didn't have to be here, then I would not have them in. The other animal would be uh, brown bears, grizzly bears. The others would be gorillas. I don't think you can do it with gorillas or orangutans. Um, and a side oh and wolverine you just can't contain a wolverine appropriately Be uh, and caribou I always go on about caribou don't I you can't have caribou um, really um, and then great white sharks but no one's really been able to keep great white sharks in captivity for any length of time because they just don't do well and uh, yeah that's that I there's certain animals that I would never have in captivity I'm if I'm okay this is from Jelena Borrell Borrell sorry J Jelena Borrell if I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure you've said that Danny is a zoologist. I want to pursue that career and I'd love to know how he did it, what it's like working as a zoologist as you guys- Oh, and you guys are a beautiful couple, so some relationship advice would be great. I didn't do it in any conventional way. Um, I took a lot of indirect routes in the way that I just kind of hustled and I worked as a zookeeper, started volunteering early on, um, tried to know everything I possibly could, set new standards, held myself to them. And eventually I worked my way up, um, starting off as a zookeeper and then eventually working into being the living collection manager at a museum in the area um, until finally now doing education, which is what I like to do most now. So, I don't know, it's hard to say. I can't give you advice. to Just persevere, um, keep at it, be the best you can be, raise the standards. You have to rise above it because it's a really popular field right now and you have to be able to prove yourself. So definitely stand out as much as you can. For me, relationship advice is that you should try and find someone who is not going to treat you so much as a princess as someone who's going to treat you as an equal and challenge you and push you to be the best version of you that you can be within the spectrum of what you want to actually achieve um so that that would be yeah no that's a good point support support is really important find somebody supportive i think a lot of people tend to settle in a way it's like oh well this person loves me for the way i am and you know i'll just deal with their inconsistencies or whatever in life like you should really feel special honestly that's something that we try to do um is is always tell each other like how we're thinking and what we're thinking of each other when we're thinking like don't hesitate you know if you want to spontaneously say i love you like 20 times a day i think we've been guilty of doing it 100 times a day like it's fun like just do what you want to do is be spontaneous and don't like don't change yourself for somebody else. yeah remember if you're not happy in a relationship and it's not working there are six billion other people on this planet someone is going to be a great match for you oh Oh, this is from a dry Stokes. Sorry, I read that so wrong. Adri Stokes. A dry Stokes. <laughs> no, I read it as dry Stokes. <laughs> oh, Adri. Okay, I'm sorry. So, this is wrong. <laughs> so, Adri, Adri Strokes, Adri Stokes. Either way, strokes, no way, Adri Stokes. I keep saying strokes. There's no stroking going on right now. <laughs> Adri Strokes, Stokes, Adri Stokes says, do you have any hidden talents? Can I tell them my favorite hidden, hidden talent of yours? Wait, which one? The, your bird song. Oh. So Danny has this incredible ability to actually tweet to other, not like, Twitter tweet, but like to actually sing to other birds, specifically finches, and they always respond back, and it sounds so amazing. Don't I can't it? do it. Wait. Why don't you face me and do it? Because they're gonna think you've got something in your hands. No, no, look, nothing in my hands. Like, okay. Uh, for me, 
Have I got any special hidden talents? Yes. All right, all right, this is another one. I can't do <laughs> it facing. <laughs> can't do it facing you. <clears throat> no, I can't do it facing you. No, either. you're good. I know you're gonna do. Do it out there. Do it that way. All right. All right. So wait, 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 wait. I gotta give you some some kind of contrast. Here. No, wait. Okay. No, I'm not gleeking. If that's what you think. I'm oh, doing. you're not. Oh, because that would have been know. impressive. Let's, oh, I can gleek too. Wait. Let's dual gleek. Ready? Wait. Oh no, that was in my face. Oh, we go that way. Point that right. way. Wait. One, two, three. I'm trying to drive for me. I can glee. <laughs> no, that was not you. I was gonna do. I was gonna do my baby cry. Good, good. Oh, okay, okay. But the neighbors outside. No, don't do it. They already the think we're weird. They're, yeah, no, they're gonna be like, oh my god, they're feeding babies. I love you. Okay. Um, one animal that you would never get, and that's from Glitcher Code. That I would never get? Yes. Guess? Cats. I would never get cats. Yeah. We, let me just get this straight, we are cat people, we like cats, but just not for our circumstance, because we've got, you know, a lot of animals that like to come out and have time flying around, like the birds, and with cats in the house, like, if an animal were to escape, that's just a recipe for disaster. It's and not only that, I, I'm a bit scuzzed out by cats, because... Like, they have their litter tray, and like, they'll pee in it and squat, and then they're like, all over your bed and all over your pillow. And for me, it's just like... <laughs> this is from Cheyenne. I'm just fascinated by your love for each other. Mwah! It makes me so happy seeing soulmates together since not everyone always finds theirs. What are some of your biggest plans together now that you've moved in? Love from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to the USA. Mwah! You're so sweet! Well, my plans are simple. We are going to do everything possible to spend as much time as humanly possible with each other because we enjoy our company and we enjoy our family. And I think after that, we're going to rule the world, um, essentially be awesome every day and try to make a difference. I think we just want to go through life having a lot of fun. And, you know, Danny's one of those people, like, it's really weird. I've always felt a bit out of step with a lot of people. And that extended to some of my relationships as well where I just felt like people wanted to, like they liked the idea of being with me but not necessarily when they were actually with me, they didn't like me as me because like I like to do my thing, I like to come and go as I please and I like to just do odd things every now and then and not everyone was cool with that because I'm not like the trendy Kylie Jenner kind of type and Danny's cool with that and you allow me with all my quirkinesses. And, and I shouldn't say allow, because if he didn't allow it, I wouldn't be here. Like, let me just get this straight. Danny does not need a woman, and I do not need a man, but we want to spend our life together. At least, at least I do. I... Yeah, we've had, we've had like, a, a long journey to be with each other, and the payoff has been really great, and I just want to make sure that we keep having that. But um, for sure, like, it's just, we can't waste time, and I think that's what we both firmly believe in, and your quirks are what make you you, and that's what I love most about you. And, I couldn't imagine anything else. <laughs> Except for maybe that. Let's see, Claire M, do you plan on doing more acting work and furthering your acting career anymore? Um, I thought you were going to jump in and be like, yes! I was, but I said, you know, I'm going to let this one go. Um, well, kind of. It, it really does depend on the kind of script, you know? I've, I've seen a lot of people like, Pfft, M doesn't act anymore because she, like, failed at it. And that's not the case at all. I just didn't enjoy it. With acting, it's not as simple as getting a casting and winning an amazing contract. Like with acting, it's a lifestyle. You have to have usually a very flexible, low paying job, which is going to give you time off like that. So you can go to auditions, which are usually last minute. And I didn't enjoy that. And I found at the time that the roles that I was being offered, it was all like the college student or like the troubled teenager and I don't want that I want something that's that's different so any scripts that I look at even to this day I don't say no to scripts I always read scripts but I have to be really interested in it and right now nothing interests me um oh do you want to read that one out this is by sporty girl just jumping in there which cookies are your favorite chocolate chip or peanut butter do you want to read it out properly <laughs> are you and Danny going to get are you and Danny going to get Married? Yeah. Of course I'm gonna get married. Yes, you think you really think I'm gonna let her out of my life? Come on. Yes, we're gonna get married. Oh, you decided that we're gonna get married? We're gonna get married. You haven't asked me yet. We're gonna get married. Says who? I think. Who says that I'm gonna stay? 
Voltor. Voltor. <laughs> so I guess the question should be answered that I am open for negotiation on the marriage front. What do you think? Thumbs up. <laughs> no. Thumbs up for getting married and thumbs down for not getting married. Yeah, thumbs up for getting married, thumbs down for not getting married. That, you know. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Why would let YouTube decide that? No. Oh gosh. Okay, this is my question. Oh, this is from Andrew's Animals. Oh, this is a deep question. Do you want to read it out? Yeah, um, this is my question. If you had to do it all again, what, if anything, would you do differently? Okay, if I had to do it all again, um, I would just not care as much about what other people wanted from my life. You know, I, w I would follow my instinct more. So many people wanted to push and pull me in different directions. Like, oh, I could really see you doing this or you should be doing that. And the whole time I was like, okay, okay. And it wasn't until my mid twenties where I started going, no, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And then doing it. So just do what you want to do. Like try to do harm to none and listen to people who love you because they want what is best for you. But I personally would not listen as much to people who did not always have my best interests at heart. Or people who wanted to hold me back. Because remember, people sometimes try and hold you back because they don't want you to succeed. Kick those people to the curb. And with those people, we just say, to the left, to the left. Yeah. Para la izquierda, para la izquierda. Vamos a bailar como Beyonce para la izquierda. Vamos a hacerlo ahora. Okay. On Twitter, at Luna Cree says, do either of you have a weird habit that bothers the other? Yes. Danny has this thing where he has to watch super depressing movies all the time. Not like, true. it's true. Like, if you're not watching American History X, then you're watching something else where people either die or eat they're each other. They're vampires, though. They're not real people. No, no, but like, it's even during the daytime, like 10 a.m., when I just want to film a video. I was for and the Shining. It was like, it was good weather for He's the shining. always watching that's something that's really depressing. And I'm like a very sensitive creature, right? And if I'm going to have something in the background, it has to be like Moana or Avatar or something which has a happy ending. Not where everybody dies, which is like all of the movies you watch. No, but there's like Friday the 13th, there's like five of them because Jason no. doesn't die every single time so he keeps on going. So don't even with that argument. All okay. right, you want to hear about mine? Here's mine. The covers. I cannot wake up with covers. Why? <laughs> where do they go? What amazing black hole in the universe exists that like time warps the covers all the way over? To one person, right? <laughs> like me sleeping, shivering. Like I look like that little dog, you know, in Disney World, you know, right through the Whoa. haunted mansion, and there's a little dog shivering in the gra graveyard. That's me, right? I'm like a little dog shivering in the graveyard, sleeping. And then there's Emma, right? Four blankets and a Kirumi, right? And like, like Christmas stockings, like everything, like little. And, and I'm, I'm freezing. That's that's me. That's what I got. But I'm warm, so it's okay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, wait, that's someone else putting you on the spot right there. Summer Nights Live. Oh, man. Danny, where's the ring? You know, it's craziest thing. I was hiking in this cave and I dropped it, and this little skinny guy came out and he was like, oh, and I was like, ah, and I dropped it and ran. So I'm going to go back and look and we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. You know, you'd never have to get me a ring, Danny. Um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, this is from Badgery Do. Um, at Steven, Badgery! At Stevens Badger, uh, at Stevens underscore Badger on Twitter. If you could have any mythical pet creature as a pet, what would you choose and why? Oh, God. I mean, it kind of would have to be a real Niffler because they've got the ability to bring you gold. And that means I could spoil my pets even more. What would you choose? I guess, um, that bird sneaky thing oh the okami yes yeah you. the okami from fantastic beasts and where to find them <laughs> is amazing oh and one more question which i saw being asked all the time um it was a very popular question which is how do i become an animal educator becoming an animal educator it's a relatively newish job so there's not any kind of degree that you take in order to do it the best thing you can do is find animal educators in your area because often they have lots of bookings and they can't fulfill them all so usually they have a team of you know support animal educators 
actors who can go on shows and to help out. So talk to them, you know, you really want to have a driver's license. Um, you want to, if you are in the UK, to be um, uh, police checked, DBS checked to make sure that you're okay to work with kids. Um, it's great if you have any animal experience because experience is the number one thing. A lot of animal education places do not care whether or not you have a degree in biology or zoology or anything else. Like they want to see you have experience. And if you don't have experience, ask if they'll give you that experience because it's one of these jobs that you can only do through learning on the job. The best thing you can do, if you can, get yourself to some drama classes um, so you can learn to stand up and talk in front of people. Um, get yourself any animal experience you can, whether that's in a pet store or even if you wanted to get a degree, you can do that too. The best thing though is just ask. Is that Do Look at Dobby. Seriously, she's like, attention me. Daddy. Spider Dobby, Spider Dobby. Does whatever a Spider Dobby, Dobby does. Dobby. Does she Dobby? Yeah, she does. <laughs> because she's Dobby. 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 She wants a daddy. Nifla's sleeping. Dobby's awake. Do okay, I hate to say this, but Dobby is a total daddy's girl and it kills me. It kills me because she knows me. Cause, cause I got Dobby for me. She loves But she loves me. Danny. But she loves me too. Yeah. So long and short, if you wanted to be an animal educator, talk to animal education companies and ask them what they want from you. And there's nothing stopping you um, from learning about the laws in your area, seeing what it takes to work in schools with children, etc., um, and, and making your own company. Why not? Like, do it for yourself. That you know, a lot of people do that. Um, so, thank you very, very much. So yes, that is where we're going to love you and leave you guys today. Thank you so much for your questions. That was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And we will see you again in another video very soon. Wait, wait, where's your paw gone? Bye. No, I'm gonna pause. I have blubber. <laughs> blubber wave. Bye. <laughs> Mwah. 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 Mwah.